Doing a driving test can be a nervous and stressful experience. I want to share with you now some advice that hopefully will help you to manage your driving test nerves. Firstly, make sure to get professional driving lessons from an approved driving instructor. This will help you to familiarize yourself with the local routes. And if it makes you feel better, ask the instructor to do a mock or a sample driving test with you. This will give you a good idea of what to expect in the actual driving test. Being familiar with the local area can help, but if you've built up some general experience from practicing in different towns and cities and at different times of the day, then you will more than likely be better able to handle any challenges, surprises or obstructions that might pop up on your driving test. Do not apply for your driving test unless your driving instructor says you are ready. Being ready for the test and knowing that you are ready can help eliminate the driving test nerves because it helps eliminate the uncertainty that creates the nerves. And as your driving test approaches, try and tell as few people as possible. The world doesn't need to know that you have a driving test coming up. If you tell too many people, you could be putting yourself under unnecessary pressure. On the test day, make sure to keep your energy levels up by drinking plenty of water and eating sensibly within the hour or two before your test. Fruits like blueberries and strawberries are good for concentration and can help you focus better. As your driving test time approaches, make sure you are early, but not too early, because the waiting room is very often where the nerves are most keenly felt. Arriving about 10 to 15 minutes before your appointment time is perfectly fine. And having a distraction can be good, such as a rules of the road book or some notes to read over. But remember, the nerves only really appear before the test. Once you start driving, you'll find that you'll be so busy concentrating on what the tester is saying to you that the nerves will gradually fade away. And as you're driving along in your test, try and take it one stretch of road at a time. There's no point in worrying about what could happen 10 or 15 minutes in the future when it hasn't happened yet. In this example here, I'm approaching the brow of a hill. So my main focus would be being aware of the speed limit, watching out for the road markings, keeping an eye on the two joggers here on the left, and preparing for any possible danger on the other side of the brow of the hill. Think of it like eating a bar of chocolate. You wouldn't stuff the whole bar down your throat in one go. You'd break it into little pieces and eat it bit by bit. Visualization techniques can also help you to manage your driving test nerves. Let's say, for example, you're worried or stressed about the reverse around the corner. If you visualize yourself doing a really good reverse around the corner with proper observation and really good clutch control, you're more than likely then to actually do a really good reverse in reality on the practical driving test. Deep breathing could also help you, especially if you're nervous in the waiting room before the tester calls you in. Breathing in slowly through the nose, holding it for a few seconds and then letting it out could be a great way to manage and handle the anxiety of the driving test. Try and remember that being nervous before your driving test is not an entirely bad thing. Being nervous can help you concentrate more because it shows that you're taking the event very seriously. If you are not successful in your driving test, don't worry or stress about it too much. What's the worst that can happen? You just reapply and try again and learn from the experience. Failing the driving test is not the end of the journey, it's just part of the journey. So that's nearly it for now. If you enjoyed this video, why not check out some of my other videos on screen now about some driving test tips and one on driving test myths. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon for another driving lesson video.